Hello everybody and welcome to Chrono Plays Loot Crate. Before I begin, I just want to point out that I have a pretty severe cold. I've had it for about mm, a week now. It's getting kind of annoying. This is actually my second cold in three weeks. It's what I get for babysitting children after having a very solitary lifestyle. My immunity is crap. So if there are jump cuts or if I sound a little strange, then that's why. So just letting you know before I start. Why am I doing Loot Crate while I still have the cold and could potentially have those problems? Well, I'm like a kid at Christmas. It's a box. I want to open it. So here we go. Let's open the Loot Crate. Uh, first things first, I noticed outside of the uh, crushing here, thank you USPS, there is nothing really special about this box. There's no punch outs or anything like that. There's no holes. Uh, so it's just a regular Loot Crate box this time around. So let us open it and see what is inside. Ooh, oh, I can see a t-shirt right off the bat, and let's take a look at the t-shirt. It's got uh, some Asian language writing on it that I don't recognize off the top of my head because I just speak English. It is Transformers! Ooh, come on, there we go. And... Oh, nope, it's Voltron! That's not Transformers, that's Voltron! There we go. Yeah, I recognized it once I saw the uh, lions for hands and the lions for feet. Oh, and the simple fact that it actually says Voltron on the bottom there. Um, yes, I used to watch Voltron a long, long time ago. I uh, quite enjoyed the show. I think I still have it. I might be mistaken, though, but yeah, I think I still have uh, Voltron. Like, the entire series. Um... Possibly, I don't remember. This is a really nice shirt. Um, again, very thin. Probably also the uh, machine wash cold with light colors. Tumble dry low. Eh, it's not that delicate. It's not as delicate as the other shirts. The other shirts were a little bit more delicate. And this feels a little bit thicker than the other shirts. So uh, this is actually quite a nice shirt. And I do like the Voltron on it. I may be wearing this to work tomorrow. Yes. All right, so let's set that aside and let us reach in and grab the thing that looks like a really squished NES cartridge. Um, uh, ISO Analog Tendo. ISO Analog Tendo. Tendo, like a Nintendo Alien Attack Squid Kids Inc. for Geeks by Geeks. He apparently uses the zap gun. What the crap is this? So analog rip. Retro inspired products. Squid Kids. I don't know what the crap this is. I really have no clue. Um, it's a bent Nintendo cartridge. It's actually plastic. There's a thing here. Is that all it is? It's just this weird... Do not run. Do not act, act, act. Do not panic. Okay, well, it's the aliens from... Uh, aliens... Mars Attacks. From Mars Attacks. Uh, act, act, act. I think, anyways. I just watched that movie recently, so... Um, oh, there's another thing in here. What are you? You are... Hands? Oh, there's a light gun. That's actually kind of cool. I don't know what the hell this is. I really have no clue what the hell this is. It's got feet? Um, okie dokie. I am very confused. Though, that's not hard right now. My brain tends not to work when I'm sick. Oop, and I dropped it. Okay, I'm back. Thankfully, I have a carpet. Things don't fly away all that well. That one did. Okay, I'm back again. Oh, ugh. god damn it. Let's try this again. Get in the hole and stay in the bloody hole. And I knocked one of his feet out. This thing is not put together very well, it seems. There we go. I... Don't really know. I'm not sure what I'm seeing here. 
This is very, very strange. All right, let's set that aside right now before I drop any more of its pieces. And let's go for these things because I was kind of curious about these. They are 8-bit sunglasses. That's all they are. They're nothing really special. Just orange and black H or orange black 8-bit sunglasses. UV 400 protection. They're not that great, but uh, they're solid, though. I mean, these things are really solid. They're, like, very stiff plastic. Well, not stiff plastic, but it's, like, strong plastic. They actually feel like real sunglasses, like something you would buy from ThinkGeek and that kind of thing. So they feel fairly well built, so I'm quite impressed with that. Um, Black Tie Geek. Uh, established 2013, downtown Los Angeles. It's a box with that's black with ties. Um, is there saran wrap on this thing? I'm not 100% sure how to open this thing. Apparently that's how I open this thing, and it is a black tie. It's an actual tie with uh, aliens on it from Space Invaders. Rippy. That's actually kind of cool. Um, it's a very solid tie. That's a very nicely made tie. Too bad I don't wear ties. I don't own a shirt that I can wear ties. <laughs> um, but this is a very nice tie. This is a very well made tie. Okay, Doki. That's actually kind of cool. Next, we have Comic Notebook. Which is, come on, here we go, come on, there we go. It's a pocket notebook. This notebook belongs to, I can be found at, my secret identity is, my superpower is. It's basically a book that you take notes in. <laughs> I love the little stencil thing here. That has just predefined comic book cutouts here so you could take your notes like you're writing a comic that's interesting tear here okay yeah I was gonna say <sighs> ah, that's strange and unusual and I like strange and unusual cool boop, 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 boop. We have the button. It's the rewind one, and it's got a cassette on it. For all of you who don't know, that's what we used to uh, listen to music on. Um, that's also what we loaded computer programs from, and probably a lot of other things that I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, yeah, I, I, I shit you not, a couple years ago, I pulled a cassette out of my drawer, looked at it, and went, what the hell is this thing? It's been so long since I've actually used one. I guess I could use this thing as the tie pin. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Underneath the Loot Crate manual, we have another comic book that I can't get out. There we go. It is Star Wars 001. It's the original Star Wars comic? Like, is it? It's also apparently $5 in the U.S. Not the original comic. Um, well, it's Han Solo. It's young Han Solo. And uh, Chewbacca. So that's pretty cool. I was actually kind of hoping it was the original, like a remake of the original uh, Star Wars comic. That would be cool. Even if it is Loot Crate branded. There's Loot Crate like all over this bloody thing. Maybe it is. I don't know. I don't think I've ever read number one before. Uh, I haven't read any of them, actually. I don't tend to read comics in general. Hmm. All right, well, I will be reading that later. Is there anything else in here before I get to the booklet? No. So let's take a look at the booklet. Uh, a look back at Geek and Gaming Past. January is Rewind. How to Win the Mega Crate. All oh, right. How to win the Mega Crate. I'm not automatically already enrolled in winning the Mega Crate. Uh, 
Doc, I'm from the future. I came here in a time machine that you invented. Now I need your help to get back to the year 1985. That is this year, by the way. Not the past five years that everybody has been saying. That is this year. 2015. Uh, and we do have hoverboards. <laughs> um, apparently we're supposed to do stuff. Pop up the controller from the cover. Fold over the flaps on all corners. Glue or tape together and control your new Loot Crate Entertainment System. Yeah, I was going to get to that later. As for the pictures, um, whether you're a fan or not, it's impossible not to love Nintendo for being a source of nostalgia for their games, world, and characters. Well, everybody fucking loves Tetris. Ah, and then the Mega Crate, all the crap. A 13-inch laptop that costs $315. That laptop is crap. Um, though, I mean, it's a free laptop for you, so that's amazing. Uh, giant freaking Voltron. That's that's actually quite awesome. A Lego's Death Star. Uh, Canon freaking camera. Uh, Hyperkin Retro N5 Retro Video Game System. So it plays a bunch of old cartridge-based video games. Star Wars The Complete Saga on Blu-ray. Have it. Uh, thing about Voltron. Nope. Okay, what the hell is this thing? Exclusive Tendo figures. Squid Kids Inks. They're retro, they're inspired, they're so analog. Some may think these miniature game cartridges are a thing of the past, but we think they still have legs and arms and feet and accessories too. Standing three inches tall, these figures are inspired by our favorite NES console games from the 80s and 90s. Six in all, including a super rare gold variant. Some, some easily assembly required. Uh, is there anything that I would really want? There's Fire Hunt that's... Where to God is Firefly? Alien Attack, which is Mars Attacks. Doctor Who. I don't even have to go into what that one. Uh, what's... what's? Hang on. Oh. 1.21 gigawatts. Thanks to a mince pronunciation of the script. Uh, and then Corbin's Alley. Okay. Oh, and... Uh... The gold variant is The Legend of the Future. I crap you not. It says The Legend of the Future. That's actually pretty cool. I actually kind of want that one. I really, really do. And then there's the comic notebook, which I thought was actually pretty cool. The exclusive 8-bit glasses from the Loot Crate Lab. Oh, there's my controller. Uh, it's got the pop-out thing. I did feel the pop-out. Uh, but it's got the pop-out thing, and you can fold it up, and you get basically your controller. So, that is the Loot Crate box, and inside of it we have the Document Share Enjoy, and all of that standard thing. I mean, it's the Nintendo box, so I guess I have to go build that. And there we have it, the Loot Crate NES. Well, the Loot Crate Entertainment System we got the standard power reset, standard controller connectors. We got stickers on it. Rad, dude. I got slimed. Very, very retro. Oh, there it is. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B, A, enter. Okay, not start, enter. Um, I noticed that this actually wasn't on last month's crate. At least I couldn't find it. But, uh, yeah, so, um, 88 miles per hour. That's pretty cool. It's a pretty creative thing to do with the box. I like it. I enjoy it. And just for another blast from the past, there's our, there's Nerd Blocks Arcade Block in its own NES little setup. You know, that I think about it, this is actually probably better proportioned. <laughs> All right, so I'll see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun. Now I'm off to play my NES. Not these two, the real one that actually works in the living room.